What's up everybody, Isaac here, Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a dive into this bad boy, which is the PE Structural Reference Manual, the 10th edition. This bad boy is what you need to pass your SE exam if you are going to be preparing for that. There are many structural, or many PEs, civil engineers that wanna become structural engineers. They gotta take some nasty exams, you gotta get through those. And so what I wanted to do is PPI, sent me a copy of this bad boy, the PE Structural Reference Manual 10th edition, it has quite a few updates to it. I wanted to do a quick review video of it just to discuss it, what's in it, what's been updated, what's the like about it, and why you should check it out. Uh, we do have an affiliate link with them at civilengineeringacademy.com slash PPI. If you're interested in getting this book, definitely go check that out. You can save 15% off the book, so definitely do that. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into this book a little bit and talk about it. Um, like I said, this is the book that you're gonna wanna get if you're studying for the Structural Engineering SE exam. Uh, all the codes that are required to take that exam are used in this. They keep this book updated with the latest codes and the 10th edition is no exception as they've updated things for that. You can see it's quite a large book. Thumb through that guy. Ooh. And uh, it's good stuff. So let's dive into it a little bit. I think you're gonna be excited about this one if you're preparing for this exam and it's gonna be good. So here we go. All right. All right, first off is the cover. And I think they've got a, done a really nice job of updating their covers. They used to be really stale and really ugly for the longest time. Good job PPI on updating their covers. This is written by Alan Williams. He's got a lot of initials after his name and he's written these, uh, these books to help us out. And like I said, this is the 10th edition, which just came out, let's look that up, just came out September of 2021. So this is a relatively new book and um, things are definitely been updated. So as part of the table of contents, just so you know what you're getting into, chapter one talks about vertical forces and incidental lateral forces and other variable forces. Chapter two talks about reinforced concrete design. Chapter three is foundations and retaining structures. Chapter four is pre-stressed concrete design. Chapter five is structural design or still design. Chapter six is wood design. Chapter seven, reinforced masonry design. Chapter eight, lateral forces. And chapter nine, bridge design. They do have practice problems after that for chapters 10 through 18 that uh, you get as part of this book. So uh, as you go through those, you get some great practice problems attached to this. Uh, the practice problems cover vertical and other forces, reinforced concrete, foundations and re retaining structures, precessed concrete, structural steel design, wood design practice problems, reinforced masonry design, lateral force practice problems, and bridge design practice problems. There's a big appendix in the back as well, and it's good stuff. So uh, Alan goes on to talk about why he wrote this book, why it's going to be helpful for you uh, when you're preparing for your structural uh, SE exam and it's good stuff to read. It's all found in the front cover that you can check out on your own and just so you know this is the 10th edition of this book and it has been updated to conform to the 2018 International Building Code IBC. Uh, there are several of the codes and specs adopted by reference in the 2018 code that have been revised since the ninth edition of this book. So this is, like I said, been quite uh, quite a big revision on this 10th edition, something to consider as you're checking this out. And it's gonna be the book that you're gonna need as you study for this. So the 10th edition has extensive revisions and additions, chapters one, two, and five and nine, five through nine. Additionally, the text has been updated to be consistent with the NCES design standards and specifications. All examples are worked using both allowable stress and strength design methods. The more significant changes to the chapters are as follows. And he goes through and details each one of those. So chapter one, they updated the, co the codes to conform to the 2016 ASCE. Uh, chapter two, they expanded. Chapter five, they updated to conform to the 15th edition of the AISC Steel Construction Manual and AISC 360-15. Chapter six is wood design. They updated that to the 2018 code for the national uh, NDS. 
Chapter 7 is Reinforced Masonry, and that was updated to the 2016 code, masonry code, uh, for building code requirements and specifications for masonry structures. And Chapter 8 was updated for lateral forces, uh, updated to the new code for ASC 7 2016, or ASC 2016, sorry. Chapter 9 was updated for bridge design for the 8th edition of the Ashto LRFD bridge design specifications. And there you go. So tons of updates. I mean, check this thing out. Um, it's not quite as thick as the civil engineering reference manual, but it's definitely on its way. Uh, the structural engineering exams or SE exams are definitely no joke. What I like about these books is that they're very clear in how they explain their concepts. They have good figures. Um, everything is in black and white, um, but that's kind of what PPI is known for in all of their books is black and white material that's in here. You're not going to get anything that's in color or anything like that. Um, you can see figures are just black and white. Is that going to focus? Probably not, <laughs> but you get the idea. So good figures in here, easy to read. Um, you know, everything's in black and white. I like that everything is tabbed up on the side. So you already have those there, but you can tab those up as well. The SE exam is the last kind of civil engineering exam that is still paper-based. Uh, I don't think they have plans to change that until 2024. So you can bring in these codes or these books with you. Um, and I can just say it's, it's a nice book. It's very, um, familiar if you've used any of ppi's products this is a book that'll be very familiar to you and with its all of its updates you'll be squared away and ready to go take the exam what i also like about the book is they detail um, in the introduction how to use the book um, how, how you should be using it they talk everything about the exam that uh, the pe structural exam is offered in two components uh, first is vertical and uh, the second is lateral forces, uh, each covered over two days. And they go into detail about what the SE exam is. They talk about what does most nearly mean, how much mathematics is needed for the exam. Uh, they talk about general test taking uh, skills when you're taking the exam, calculators, how it's scored, how you should guess, uh, cheating. They even cover cheating in here. So there's a big introductory piece to this book that you probably uh, can get in a lot of different places, but it's always good to review this. So one of the other things is they talk about what you should study. Uh, you know, there's a really broad approach to how you study this and they detail that in here. They talk about how long you should study for this exam. Uh, if you should schedule a review, planning sessions, you know, what to do before your exam and on and on and on. So everything about preparing for this exam, even what to do after the exam, and what to do when you pass the exam, okay? What are you going to do when you pass? You're going to celebrate. That's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to no notify people who wrote letters of recommendation or reference to you. You're going to tell them. And the last thing is you're going to tell the folks at PPI who's been rooting for your, for your good news. So uh, definitely a good book. Um, real quickly, I just wanted to touch on the back of the book, which says that the PE Structural Reference Manual prepares you for the NCES PE Structural SE Engineering Exam that provides a comprehensive review of structural analysis and design methods related to vertical and lateral forces. All exam topics are covered and exam adopted codes and standards are frequently referenced. You will learn how to apply concepts by reviewing the 270 example problems that will strengthen your, your problem solving skills by working the 50 end of chapter practice problems, each problem complete with solutions, so you can check those out like I talked about. Access to supportive information is just as important as knowledge and problem solving efficiency. And this reference manual is thoroughly indexed, uh, easily indexed for you, so you get that. Uh, it has 700 equations, 60 tables, 250 figures, eight appendices, relevant codes that are applicable to you and it lists all the reference codes and design standards that are part of this. I could go on and list all of those to you. Maybe you want to hear them, maybe you don't, but it includes the latest ASHTO that's part of it, building code requirements, uh, building code requirements for structural concrete and for masonry, IBC, minimum design loads for buildings for the ASCE 7, um, 
the NDS, the PCI, the AISC 327, special design provisions for seismic commentary, which is called the SDPWS, and the AISC 325 steel construction manual. So this thing covers it all. Um, we can't leave without reading a little bit about the author, right? Alan, who wrote this bad boy, he is a registered professional engineer in the structural engineering. Uh, he works out of California, so he's a structural engineer in California. He's a fellow and lifetime member of the Institute of Civil Engineers, a chartered engineer in the UK, and a member of the Structural Engineering Association of Southern California. He obtained his bachelor's of science and the doctorate and his doctorate from the University of Leeds in England. Dr. Williams has extensive experience teaching and practicing structural engineering, including designing, constructing bridges, schools, industrial and commercial support structures. He has worked as a senior engineer with the California Department of Transportation and as a principal of structural safety with the California Division of State Architecture. Dr. Williams has published several textbooks and papers on structural engineering design, structural analysis, seismic design, and reinforced and pre-stressed concrete design. So Dr. Alan Williams definitely knows what he's talking about. I think this is a book that you're definitely going to want to go to when you're studying for the SE exam. So if you've ever wanted to study for the SE exam, I would definitely recommend this book. Go get a, a copy of it because you want to get as many resources as you can to help you ace that exam. So go check out our link at civilengineeringacademy.com slash PPI, like I said at the beginning, and go save some money. If you need a review course, uh, PPI also does those review courses as well, and go check those out as well. So I'm curious what you think of this manual. Have you used it before? Have you taken the SE? Do you want to take the SE? Is that on your radar at all? Those are things I'm interested in hearing about. So uh, if you any, if you can answer any of those, leave them in the comments because I want to know what's going on in your world. Anyway, that's my quick review of this book. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Go check it out. Like I said, civilengineeringacademy.com slash PPI. And I think you'd be happy with it. It's a, it's a really good resource to help you with your SE exam. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this review video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you, there's other review books that you want to know about or other material that's helping you on your FE, PE, SE, whatever it is, to help you on your journey to become a, pro a professional engineer, let me know, see if I can get a copy of it and share it with you because I want you to know all the great resources that are available at your fingertips. And uh, if you need more, go check out civilengineeringacademy.com. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you and it was fun to record and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>